Alright, picking up right where we left off. I'm at a point where this game's getting increasingly difficult too. Ah. Oh, did I get bombs? What was that noise? Damn you, fish! Transportation services? I don't remember that. Ow. Blah. Nobody cares. No, no, not bombs. Hi guys! Sad. We got like several other labyrinths. Oh, I just skipped whatever you had to say. <laughs> it wasn't important. Uh, find the armor if you wish to survive. Oh, thank you for that useless tidbit of information. have I have no potions. God damn it. Falcon shoes?
two second delay. It's not like a serious delay. It's enough to kind of bother me. Ah, I need bombs and potions. to him. We're looking for someone to sell me potions. Oh, we do move a bit faster. I didn't even think about that. Ah! Come on! No! Run! I turned my fire into spit! but I need health. Can you heal me? Oh my god. Hey are how you saying? I needed to take a break from that game. I was sucking. <laughs> oh my god. Flippin' was getting annoying. But we managed to find shoes without even knowing that we were looking for them. <sighs> Alright, we have to find a labyrinth. No, wait, we have to... We have to find some help. Oh, wait, you know what? Why am I gonna wander around here and pay extra money when... I can just go back... Oh, damn it, I did it again. When we're here... No. I just said no. Don't you know the word no?
to get hurt. There we go. Isn't it wonderful? Ant Head, how you doing? Oh god. Really? Turn my head away for two seconds. trying to pass time. I can relate. You ever played this game before? Because apparently nobody's ever heard of it. And that makes me feel old or something. <laughs> also a pair of shoes. You're not the most well-informed individual, are you? I have 16 of them, but I have no bombs. <laughs> Why? Why does it happen to me like this? You never had a turbo graphics god. I feel sorry for you. It's like the best system. Oh my god, why don't I have any bombs? I'm supposed to have 16 friggin' bombs! Damnable glitchiness! Oh my god. Yeah! 
guess what year this game came out? <laughs> Technically, that's when I was gaming. <laughs> I can't believe the bombs are glitched out. Now I gotta find somebody to sell me a bomb. Perfect age to be gaming. What else are you supposed to be doing at 16? collect fish? Or are you like work in like a pet thing? I had a friend who used to breed angel fish, I think it was. And she would make like tons of money for each fish she sold. I'm chasing girls around. You ever think about just breeding them? Apparently there's good money in that. It's a relaxing job. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm a pretty hardcore gamer. <laughs> he just used to like to watch him swim around. No. Care about that old lady. Do I have a bomb icon now? Thank you! Again, nonsense. Yeah, I mean, I, is it a lot of work? I don't know, I just figured that they would do it on their own, you know, just lay some eggs or whatever. And then when they were ready and yet had a bunch of baby fishies that actually survived. Biddy, what are you crying about? Are you crying? You're not allowed to be sad. You're a pity boss. Look at that, Bibby. You made Mommy get hit. I'm trying to find the labyrinth. Oh, we're in the lab and we're trying to find the dungeon. Yeah, well, I was actually more into this game than I was Zelda. I had a lot more, uh, I guess, interest in all that. What the hell? Maybe if I... No, nothing? I was about to say, if you weren't really big into gaming when you were younger, I'm surprised you jumped in <laughs> on the chat. <clears throat> Unfortunately, in this day and age, most people that would know this game are probably working full-time jobs somewhere. And then the couple that come in usually will sit there and talk about how this is a Zelda knockoff which is kind of funny because it would almost be like the other way around <laughs> given the age I mean I guess if you compared it to like the legit first NES Legend of Zelda then sure in which case this makes it did a great job and did a lot better <laughs> say that you're not gonna the haunted entrance no bearing fish yeah now don't they eat each other or something the guppies Why do you keep crying? What the hell that means?
possibly go this way? No. Probably not that way. A lot of damage. Right, fuck you. Ow! Damn, you took off half my life! Special thing where babies are separated from the adults or they eat them. So, like, couldn't you just, like, put a net in there? And that's the mother fish, too? You can't have the baby around the mama fish? Burn you stupid barba thing. Really? 
a dead end? Oh, that's dick. Kind of a nerdy thing. <laughs> I know with your bad self, I'm not going through that twice. What bitty bitty? Understood what people call nerdy. It's like, I don't know, is video games a nerdy thing? I have no idea. How the hell would I. Oh. Oh. Damn, how the hell do I get past? What kind of bullshit is this? Funny, those little blue things on the ground look like some sort of tadpole guppy thing. Tadpole guppy thing. Oh, lordy. No, they still at me and they take off a friggin' bar and a half. I'm super into, like, so many things that I must be, like, the super nerd, if that was the case. But then what makes a geek? Really, the one room? Two people 
why you keep crying. There's no crying. There's no crying in the Bibbulin Kingdom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nine nieces and nephews, huh? never use the term nerd. Only because I'm not even positive what differentiates a nerd from a geek or vice versa. And because I've always been like a brain, I don't really kind of picture myself as a nerd, so I never understood the term, like where the definition came from. And then in the end, I guess the only thing that makes a nerd is, what, somebody wears glasses? I mean, it's, it's just dumb. <laughs> it's a dumb way to, to to try and picture it in this day and age. Especially since, like, it's almost like a compliment nowadays to call somebody a nerd. Because it's like, oh, so that means, like, I'll be successful and you won't? I'm smart? Like, is that what you're calling me? <laughs> I think it was just the 90s that tried to, like, you know, I guess make it, like, a derogatory statement. Like, it's a terrible thing to be smart. And that's why we grow up in a generation of dumbasses. Very few far and in-between success stories. Oh, your nieces and nephews? Yeah... Oh my god, we're gonna be doing this again! God, what do I do? It's just hurting me. Oh wow, that Oh, it's a fake brown stone. That's dick. Let me guess. Step on the diamonds and get shot to death. That about sums it up, I guess. I'd say so. Whoa! <laughs> I think I'm supposed to go that way. Whew. Oh, 
Hi, Stage 1. How you doing? I know I've seen you around before. <laughs> Make it. Oh! Oh, my shield took care of two of them. Good. Oh, God. I can never win. God, this game is vicious. Short. I guess I can go down. Oh, no, I am not going to be able to take the boss on like this. even as uh, do I go down into the left really what my freaking one bomb that I need to get find the boss's room with the stairs down. go and see the boss. God, they just keep hitting me back in there. No! No! I have the damn key! Oh my god, I got out. <laughs> Wonderful. 
why the song makes me think of Pan's Labyrinth. Like, but a happier version. <laughs> Bibi, Mommy doesn't understand why you're so sad. You are a pity bowl of magnanimous quality. Try and get there with as much health as humanly possible. And as many bombs as possible. I needed the ring. Damn it. I know, I, I did love this game. I played it for many, many, many years. <laughs> I can't even, like, begin to describe how many years I've spent playing this game. And especially at the time. Like, it was like the most colorful game imaginable. The music was really, really good. It had like the best music for out of any game. I'm not even sure where the hell I'm going. Damn, the labyrinth gets you lost every time. Bombs get more and more expensive. Yeah, wrong way. There's a lot of awesome games for the Turbo Graphics. It's actually really sad undermined the system was, but it w was too expensive when you compare. I mean, on opening day, you know, TurboGrafx, I believe it was $600 or some shit. And it was because they were comparing their price to something like Neo Geo, which I believe was 800 at the time. So it almost seemed like the cheaper system. But, Sega Genesis came out like a year later for $300. So that was it. Anybody had gotten a Turbo Graphics, it was only in the first year. And even then, Nintendo was kind of smart because they, like, you know, that's when they started doing, like, package deals and crap like that. So a lot of people ended up getting the Nintendo, or, you know, if they already had a Nintendo, they just didn't bother. You know, they'd get a bunch of Nintendo games instead. Oh, yeah. Here, 
there she is. I keep going in circles. That's the purpose of a labyrinth. Get lost, run in circles. Well, Sega Saturn was an amazing system, too. I mean, it's sad how that was undermined. And it wasn't even that expensive was just completely and totally undermined, and it really shouldn't have been. It was an amazing fucking system. Some of my favorite games are Sega Saturn games. But Japan fucks a lot of things up, too. Like, a lot of times they're, they don't believe that Western culture has the kind of interest in gaming that they have. So there's a lot of amazing games that they just don't bring over here. They just don't believe that it appeals to Western demographics or anything like that. And a lot of times that is that ends up being tactics and, and strategy and RPG and action-adventure games. Wisely, I doubt it, because I never friggin' do. Oh, I think I did. Alright, I think it's up here. I remember this. I remember this! My healer? No, you're the password asshole. I don't want to hear a password. I want to be healed. Damn old ladies. Did I just get smacked back in here? Damn it. Why are you alive? gotta be somebody who heals. It's always somebody right by the friggin' boss. Damn it! Alright, I just gotta ignore everything and get to the boss. I got two potions. That should be enough to kill the friggin' guy. You gotta stop crying. I, I don't know why you're so sad. I would have put you out, but Orville closed up the door already. God damn those damn friggin' wizards. That way it was dead end. Oh. Any labyrinth near here? So like not this labyrinth. Oh yeah. I used to play like uh Shining Force, Dragon Force, Shining of the Holy Ark, Albert Odyssey. I mean, there was a lot of awesome games for the Sega Saturn. And even just as many ones that were equally awesome that were never brought here, like the whole Langresser series. Oh, 
Oh my god. Alright. Finally at a point where I'm feeling a bit more relaxed. I would bomb your chains and let you free, but I wouldn't be a dick. wants to go outside, but my uncle already kind of locked up the door. He does that sometimes. Like, I won't be awake to do it or something. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> but now, it would create ten times the amount of noise to actually open it back up than it would be to close it. So if I let her out, that means I'd have to let her out the front. And that means I'd have to watch her while she goes to the bathroom. In case there's any coyotes or something out there. Or bears. Or feral coons. Um, it's a genetic thing. I know a lot of people don't believe it, but... Everyone in my family smokes. So says my grandmother. Matter of fact, her logic was that all of us had to smoke because it was a sign of sophistication. Of course, that logic has changed over the past 20 years, but who are you to tell grandma that sophisticated ladies don't smoke nowadays? <laughs> But believe it or not, I mean, it never phased her. She used to smoke like three packs a day. And at least I only smoke like half a pack a day. Well, between half a pack and a pack. Depends on how much I keep myself occupied. Oh, it's already open. I actually had a doctor call us a liar when we told him he, she smokes. And then it wasn't until, you know, he came in and saw that she was smoking in the hospital that he actually believed us. Because nobody was going to tell her she couldn't smoke because that was her right as an American citizen. <laughs> I think it was when I was maybe 10 that my grandmother sat me down. She made me smoke an entire carton of cigarettes with her. And when I didn't get sick, she was like, I knew you were an Anderson. I'm like, I don't really... <laughs> okay, Grandma. I'm not, though, but okay. <laughs> but the sad thing is, it's like, I don't mind it. I mean, as weird as that might sound. I mean, there are occasions where I actually enjoy having a cigarette. And I only really have, like, withdrawal issues if I'm not smoking for, like, a day. Maybe a couple of hours. I mean, I'm a bit of a raving bitch, but... Yeah, uh, only, like, a day or two. And if I'm extremely happy mood, I won't even have withdrawal symptoms. I 
Like, I've never had any problem quitting. I'm missing something. There has to be a secret thing in here somewhere. Don't those things look like those things from Mega Man? God, no, I'm doing good. Don't mess me up now. Get me health, Caterpillar. I don't care about 50 gold coins. I care about health. Ah. I really hope this isn't that boss that we need bombs. Yeah, that's why I was saying, I, th I think a lot of it is a genetic thing. Because I, I, with the amount that she smoked, and like, she was a terrible smoker. Like, if she had no cigarettes, she would like smoke, like, butts out of the ashtrays, and, you know, like, sometimes she wouldn't care what brand of cigarette she was smoking. Like, I mean, she, she was a terrible, terrible smoker. <laughs> We can go left here. Alright. I'm gonna try and keep at least ten bombs for the boss in case. Uh, one left. Oh my god, I can't even block that fire shit. No. Can I go down here? My last bomb? <gasps> oh god. Alright, I'm going to need a magic ring. It'd be nice if one of you guys give me one, because there's four of those asses right outside the boss's door. And I finally found it. Oh, thank you. I found it! Woo! The strongest armor It doesn't even have a fucking name. Long butts. Definitely need a new sword. Nice if maybe one of you gave me a little cherry for health. Yeah. No! No, you give me the cherry too late! Stop this nonsense! Stop it now! <laughs> but like what it is is like when you think about it it's like 
It's probably like, what's the worst in a cigarette, you know? I mean, in essence, that's why a lot of people don't smoke it down to that, because the more you're smoking in that cigarette, the more the filter gets resonated with, like, the tar and all the other crap that's in it. So it just, like, doesn't taste the same, you know? You're, like, getting more of that crap in your lungs. And that's why I was saying, you know, in the long run, I don't really know how my grandmother was able to fool the doctor into, you know, or the doctor was just that freaking dumb. Alright, here we are at the boss. Oh my god. No! God. This boss is gonna probably kill me. I don't wanna die. No, get away from me! one head. Oh my god! Oh no! I'm gonna die! <laughs> Bitch old lady stole half my money. Ah, alright. Yeah. Well, now we got the strong armor, supposedly. It's strong. Huh. Well, it's strong enough that it doesn't hurt us when the jellies hit us. First time I died from a boss. Uh, I guess we gotta pay attention and get some money now. Uh, 
everything's gonna keep getting more and more expensive. Time's a charm. I should do good now that I have this armor. Uh, if I can get one more thing of bombs, I'll be happy. at least one.
you go. You're my healer. Yes. Thank you. Alright. We got that far. Tails, how you doing? I needed to take a break because I got utterly lost. Not lost, I just... I, I was going crazy playing it, so... I figured after six and a half hours and two hours of that being spent pulling my hair out of my head, that that's basically what I was going to do. I was going to take a break. So that's what I did. I went and took a break. So, now I'm playing this. Ah, wrong dude. And... Yeah, hopefully uh, I beat this boss. I'll probably tackle it again tomorrow night, I guess, at one point. No! Shit! I don't have a fucking ring. Alright. One of you bastard things give me a ring. Damn it, that's not a ring. Oh, what the? You're not feeling good, man. Never force yourself. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thanks for one fucking cherry. Fucking asshats. How'd you get out? What do you have, Ajana?
Ajina. You don't know what Ajina is? Or maybe I'm supposed to use, like, the phonetically incorrect term, Angina. God, and these asshats still do it. Damn these things. You friggin' bouncing little turds. Well, is it a burning sensation or do you just get anxiety attacks? comes from like an acid reflux or something. Swear to God, the monsters are harder than the friggin' boss. What do I get hit as I'm in the friggin' boss menu? No! No! Don't do this to me at the fucking end! Fuck you! And you won't even open unless I kill this stupid worm.
god, I don't know what to do. No! No! Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking not make it again. What kind of bullshit is this? God forbid I didn't accidentally find these fucking boots. Like, how do you fucking go through that? Fuck you! Damn it, you cunt! You stole my fucking money again! Don't you understand what I'm trying to do? Fuck! Ah, I need to stretch out my leg. got that checked up or anything? Because it seems like it would probably just be Ajina. Ah, son of a bitch. like every other game, they never give it you what, need, what you need. Like an Jedi. I mean, you ever try to like Prilosec or something? Maybe some Zantac? That's generally what that is. And if it's Ajina, it's a sharp shooting pain. Usually it'll go away after, you know, you have like an antacid or two. Twenty more. Come on, frog. God damn it.
that's why, you know, it sounds exactly like what I said. It sounds like a type of Ajana. Which usually comes from a specific food you're eating. Something that might be highly acidic. Like, I'll get something similar to that if I have, like, a lot of orange juice. Or... Like, canned pineapple. Different shit like that will usually affect me in that way. Damn potions. Fucking four times. Well, I guess it'll be three times I'm fighting the boss, but. First time I had to flee the dungeon. I can't believe how hard that friggin' dungeon is. And I gotta do a second dungeon after that, and my fucking sword sucks assholes. It's a lot of different things. I mean, I've heard people... Some people can get it from tomato sauce. Um, you know, there's uh, people who can get it from... You know, I mean, I get it from acidic fruit. But different, you know, things will affect people differently. Looking, and I know there's a shorter way if I go up. This way. I really gotta focus on killing you guys because I need money. cherries when I have full life. No! You do this shit to me all the fucking time! Any damage. No damage. We go down. Not Sorel. I don't know how Mon Sorel would do that. Usually, a lot of times, uh, milk is a good cure for Ajana. Oh, no, what's this thing? I never checked that wrong. Oh, a potion salesman. Because a lot of that is actually aged tomatoes. 
and aged tomatoes is like highly acidic. It's acid-based foods. It can cause extremely sharp shooting pains. That's generally the diagnosis of Ajana. No, we don't want to take no damage. No damage. Leave me alone with your damaging selves. Give me that money. that. See? I saved you a trip to the doctor. So, what you need to get are, uh... Let's see. Dairy products are actually generally good. Like a warm milk. I know a lot of people don't like warm milk. And when I mean warm, I don't mean heated up in the microwave. That actually causes lactase to build up in milk. What you do is you kind of just, like, leave the milk out on the counter for, like, a half hour. You know, just not ice-cold milk. Um, another good way to actually, uh, cure that, especially if you're the type of person that ends up getting, uh, you know, because some people don't like milk because they are susceptible to, like, allergies and things like that. So, sometimes that, you know, causes a lot of mucus buildup, you know, or if you're sick, you know, of course, obviously don't want to drink milk. Um, you could always have, like, a hot tea. Sometimes that helps, but... That's going to be like a very, very temporary sort of uh, fix. Um, you know, I mean, avoiding those foods is definitely the first thing that you should do. And seeing if that cures up a majority of your issue. You're quite apparently going to need two health bars for this. So. All right. So yeah, definitely have some milk when you know you're, you're starting to feel it. Like first thing, run to the milk. Even if it's cold, take a little sip and then try and leave it out on the counter. And then when it's like kind of lukewarm, you know, drink the rest of it or room temperature or whatever. And then uh, you know, definitely get some antacids. Now for somebody like me, I I mean, I you sound like you might have them serious. So there's no point in trying to get stupid shit like Tums and crap like that because those are like preventative, you know, meaning take them beforehand. Sometimes it helps. It's, it's a bunch of nonsense. The shit hardly ever works. But I mean, maybe if because you never take them, you know, maybe they'll be a bit more effective for you. I don't know. But I would definitely look into uh, getting something like a Prilosec. Um, those types of uh, a heart uh, things. Uh, Zantac never, you know, when it was when it was over the counter, it worked, and then when I started getting it behind the counter, it didn't work anymore. So, I mean, that also I think is just based on you know your ability to handle or manage that kind of thing. Oh, and why do I always got to get hit by everything? No! Goddamn outlook. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's probably just, you know, your reaction towards the tomatoes. I mean, it could be a, a specific thing. The age of the sauce can have something to do with that. Whether or not it was canned sauce or home cooked can sometimes have a lot to do with it. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's generally specified. Like, for me, I am more likely affected by, um things like orange juice than I am oranges. I can eat oranges, but if I have a glass of orange juice, it doesn't, it, it, it affects me really badly. Alright. As long as we don't use a potion until we get to the damn door, we should be good. Far, we got a ring for those asshole fucking wizard ghost things. That's eh, okay. I spend 90% of my time avoiding doctors, so I understand. <laughs> All that nonsense about don't self-fucking... Medicate, or not self-medicate. Well, yeah, self-medicate, all that good stuff. It's, it's generally a bunch of bullshit. It's things like for rich people to follow. The assumption that everybody's life is hunky fucking dory because we live in the United States. It's a bunch of bullshit. Hell, half the time I gotta live day by day and wonder when I'm gonna fucking be able to go buy food. But, you know, we live in the United States, the land of, like, you know, a bunch of fucking liars and people who like to save face. And if I was grateful for anything here. Because everybody's gonna drop me freaking wings. I don't need angel wings. I need you to give me some health or magic brain. I've spent most of my time, hell, when I was like a kid, we used to take in so many homeless kids off the street, and they used to dumbfound me, you know, like I live in one town, and I think in my one town we took in four homeless kids under the age of 16 living in my house, and then we had to go and sign up guardianship papers so that they could go to fucking school, otherwise the government was a-okay with them not being educated. It's like we live in the dumbest fucking world. Like, we re like our country is stupid. It really is. Bunch of hypocritical nonsense. And then you have rich people complaining that we're using their tax dollars. Meanwhile, half of them fucking don't go to anything that they think it goes to. And then they don't even bother looking into what it goes to, which makes it even friggin' worse. So, I, I mean, I just, I, I get really pissed about that, you know, and especially, like, knowing what I know, it just upsets me to no end. It's like, we were never fucking reimbursed for all the times that we had to put our fucking necks on the line to support fucking kids that should have le legitimately been supported, but... We're worse off if, God forbid, they were in foster care or anything like that because they don't even fucking get to go to school. It's like, what the hell is wrong with this shit? The picture is, like, completely off here. I 
parents don't get in trouble because they already had a legal guardian signed off for them. Yeah, I lived on the streets from like, what, 15 to... about 15 to 17. And even then, well actually no, 15 to 17 I was living off and on at my friend Ed's house. And then at 17 I had trouble staying with him. So I ended up living in the park with my dog. Which, I love my fucking dog. <laughs> Anybody who thinks a dog's a dog is a fucking idiot. That dog was my sister. More than any fucking person I know. I would slit a throat for my dog. Not even think twice about it. Yeah, around, like, uh... I think a lot of my friends didn't really think that I would, like, live on the streets or something. Like, there was always some sort of backup plan. And I, and I was pretty notorious for having a backup plan for everything, so... You know, that was probably my bad, you know? Like, constantly being self-reliant all the time. And, like, always being like, oh, don't worry, I got this, I'm okay. You know, and then it got to a point when I wasn't really okay, and I don't really think a lot of people believe that I wasn't okay. <laughs> So, that's, you know, one of the things that really fucking sucks. Alright. Oh my god, already. Already! Already with this horse shit! Really? And you just steal one right off the fucking gate? Why can't none of you fucking blow up? You know how much easier it would be if just one of you would blow up? Oh, I'm out of fucking bombs. Shit. Fuck, man. I don't want to die again. I can't. I can't die again. I haven't even killed one of these fucking heads. It's ridiculous. Was I supposed to get something? What am I missing? Oh my god, I killed one. Alright. Oh, come on, we got this. Fucking most evil boss I fought yet. Come on. 
Oh, that's two. It's two. We just got one more. Oh my god, really? You're gonna go through the fucking turtle shell like that? Hit you that many times. No. God, die. I didn't have to hit the other heads this many fucking times. It's like saying I never hit you once. Fuck you. Oh my god, thank god. <laughs> oh, three times. No! I will not die. You will not do this to me. For real? For real. You're gonna fucking kill me like that. You're gonna do me dirty like that. Thank you. Oh, that was mean. And this dungeon was about to do me dirty. Did you see that? <laughs> uh, at least I got an extra life thing now. <laughs> they were trying to do me dirty. I never had a bullshit like that at the end of a freaking dungeon. Oh my god. We ain't got like anything. I can only afford one potion. Uh, might as well get it. Uh, all I wanted to do was beat this dungeon. I can't believe how hard it is. Oh, labyrinth, not dungeon. It's sad that not a lot of people ever played or knew of this game. This is such an awesome freaking game. We're at the halfway point, so now it's when it's, everything gets hard. I thought the strongest armor was white. I watched back left head did take less hits. I'm trying to... Is that a song lyric? <laughs> Oh, you noticed this bald spot? Is that what you're talking about? I think he's supposed to be wearing a crown, but it just looks like a bald spot. I think our hero, Gisetta, friggin' had a terrible fire incident. Or while he was sleeping, somebody shaved a bowl around his head. That'd be one of the worst pranks ever. Give me some 
money. It's a hat? Why, why do you think it's a hat? You don't think it's a bald spot? I think it looks like a bald spot. We always made fun of it as a bald spot. That's his hair. I mean, you can see it's his hair, but he's got like some sort of bald spot. Our hero Gisetta is a short little pudgy guy. Alright, now I have no idea where the other labyrinth is, so this should be fun. This is all about exploration now. I say labyrinth, I mean dungeon. I gotta talk to these idiot townspeople. The boogeyman. A magic ring. It's the hat of a bald spot. <laughs> hat in the shape of a bald spot. He wanted to look like older and more refined. God, we don't have any bombs either. We're gonna have to find some of those. Problem, you have a good one, Tails. Ass. There we go. Gut instinct tells me this dude's important. Or not. It's this 
do that's important. shield. Alright. Yeah, fuck it. How do you heal? Yay! Why you gotta be so sad, Bibblewax? What time is it? <laughs> no, I have this on the way. I technically have this game. I mean, I could hook up my TurboGrafx-16 and just... <laughs> I have it on the way. <laughs> it's one of those games that I actually do have the TurboGrafx-16 and the video game, but here I am playing it on the fucking way. <laughs> How you doing, Brandon? I'm sure you would have loved my Metroid stream. I'm gonna have to do it again tonight. Um, I ended up playing for like six hours, and the last like two hours of it was me trying to figure out and being completely and totally lost as to what the fuck to do. So that was a bit infuriating, to say the least. And nobody could figure out what the hell I needed to do either. So it wasn't even like... There was like 13 of us, I think, just trying to rack our heads trying to figure out what the fuck we were supposed to do, and nobody could figure it out. Like, I have no idea where the boss is right now. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I know by the time you see that...
if we were close. No, wait, I wanted you to heal me. God damn it. Talk to you, dumbass, again.
idea you were telling me this morning, or yesterday morning, one of these mornings. <laughs> So did you watch it yet? Because I think that's what you were doing when you got off Discord with me last night. So how many episodes did you watch? Fucking labyrinths are ridiculous. Everything just fucking circles in on each other. So you only have one episode left? <laughs> if I can buy a new potion for 400, I'll find one.
be somewhere where the stone is. Fucking map. Old lady, how come you don't have a fucking map of anywhere? Let me go get a potion. For 200. asshole fish. It's hidden in the first labyrinth. Maybe that's why I'm having so much problems. I think I went to the second labyrinth first. <laughs> God, below. Ah, uh, well, that makes sense. What the fuck is below, though? Why'd you make your second labyrinth easier to find? second labyrinth first. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fucking bombs. We don't care about bombs. Care about where this friggin' labyrinth is.
fucking thing's always confused. I have no idea where I need to go. Again, labyrinth. Gotta be an easier way to find them. give me directions to the first labyrinth because apparently I did the second one. I'm here with the, in front of the two gold statues with fish dude.
up, right up. Um, I have. I've already done this. I just need the labyrinth. And then I'm done with this area. I just feel like I've been wandering around forever. This is the labyrinth I did already. I'll tell you in a minute. I did is the one that's like down here. This one. This one I did already. Labyrinth? I mean, a fucking dungeon, whatever the hell they want to call it. I think in order to get there, I need to, like, go to, like, a completely different area. How about this? I'll just go back to the beginning so I can get fully healed.
Oh yeah, I'll get, I'm just gonna go back to the beginning, beginning over here. Get healed. <laughs> Why don't you heal me, you old fucking stupid bag? Want me to go back to the two bronze statues? Oh, okay. So where do we go from here? on the left path. Damn. Do you 
heal. This guy says the first crypt is south. I bomb the walls? There's no map here. I have to talk to this asshat first? Am I heading in the right direction? Oh, I think I am. God. I swear the monsters are harder than the bosses. Do you heal? being healed. 
of that. Now I got booze out the ass. Damn it! I don't care about your fucking magic ring. I care about being healed. Just hit me in here. Yeah. <sighs> There's usually a healer. What the fuck is it? Oh, damn it. Now they just took half my money. And you stupid old bag, you didn't fucking heal me. No. Fucking retarded old lady. Alright, at least we know where it is now. Damn it. Ah, there's a chicken there that heals. I think to go this far back, though. Ah! There we go. Finally, progress. 